her. Those are brand new. Yeah, but they'll look a lot better in a minute. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. See ya. Oh, Dad, you owe me five bucks. I passed my history test. Way to go. Hey, want to go double or nothing on math? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> you know, I don't understand it. I am new shoes and he never wears them. Did you see the letter from the high school? Yeah. They want me to be a chaperone at Kip's junior prom. You don't think I'd be cramping his style, do you? Oh, don't worry. Anything terrible he's going to do is going to happen after the dance. <laughs> Here, Nicole. I gave you three extra ketchups and my phone number in case you ever break up with Greg. Thanks for the ketchup. Here, Nicole. Here's three extra ketchups for the cutest little tomato I know. Right. You're gonna give me grief and you can't even get up the nerve to ask a girl to the prom. The prom? Please, Kip. Eisenhower isn't in the White House anymore. These archaic rituals are shallow and meaningless. How many girls have turned you down? Four. The homecoming queen, two cheerleaders, and that girl who stars in the student film that was confiscated by the police. Freddy, don't you think you're setting your sights just a little high? True, but the prom night should be different. I want to go with the kind of girl whose face could launch a thousand ships, or at least whose body could launch a couple hundred. Hey, I'd like to go with Nicole, but you know, that's not going to happen. Look, Freddy, you got two weeks to find yourself a date, and I don't want you to give up, okay? For me, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> a boy. There's Katie. Now, I'm gonna go nail down my date, and then we're gonna get you one, too, okay? Hi, Katie. Hi, Kip. I'm glad you came over. I'll have fries and a diet soda. Sure thing. <laughs> Look, I've been meaning to ask you something. You know the prom is coming up, and, uh... You're not gonna ask me, are you? I'm not? Oh, I mean, because I would really like to go with you. <laughs> you would? Oh, yeah, but I have this new job on the weekends, and I don't think that my boss would give me the time off. Even for the prom? Kip, the man times how long you stay in the bathroom. <laughs> well... Kip, give me a couple of days, because I would really like to go with you. Great. Well, let me know as soon as you find out, okay? Okay. By the way, um, you wouldn't by any chance have a friend who would go with Freddie Haskell, would you? Kip, please, don't spoil the moment. <laughs> Sir, Mom thought I might be able to help you with the antenna. Ah, the antenna's fine. <laughs> Get a gander at this. The new neighbors, sir. Yeah, pretty good, huh? You can't tell the mother from the daughter until they turn around. <laughs> well, in any case, I'm glad I caught you alone. You see, sir, my life is a shambles. I've nearly lost the will to go on. Yeah, summer's coming up. If I'm lucky, maybe they'll go for that all over tan. <laughs> Sir, please, just this once, can I have your undivided attention? Why are you always bothering me? Well, you are my father. Look, Sam, blood tests were only 92% accurate back then. Never mind. <laughs> okay, okay, you come on back. We're going inside anyway. So, what are you whining about this time? Now, you see, sir, my eclectic tastes have kept me from the social mainstream. Life hasn't been ideal, but if I could somehow get the perfect date, I could eliminate years of mediocrity in one night. Speak English. I need a primo companion for the junior prom. But right now, I don't think I could get a date with that toothless cafeteria worker. The prom. That one night when you got the whole world on a string. I'll never forget my prom. It was great. Four kids died. It sounds hard to top. But getting back to my current problem, I want to go to the prom with a, a teen goddess. But alas, I haven't got your appeal for the fairer but crueler sex. Son, I know I haven't always been there for you when you needed me, but I'm here for you now. Now, getting a great date is like getting a great friend. You buy him. Well, sir, 
Since you seem to have such an excellent grasp of the situation, perhaps you could help defray the cost. Freddy, Freddy, I'm gonna do you a big favor. I'm gonna let you earn the money yourself. <laughs> Sir, I have less than two weeks. Surely there's gotta be another way. Not for you. to help Duffy study for his test. Oh, I'm sorry, honey, but I had to stop by the hospital and see Eddie Haskell. What happened? He was working on his antenna and he fell off the roof. <laughs> he should be okay. That's good. Well, let's go. Duffy's not getting any smarter. Thank you, Kelly. I wanted to talk to you at the hospital, Mr. Cleaver, but with all my father screaming, it really didn't seem appropriate. Freddie, whatever you're gonna hit my dad up for, it has to wait. One moment, sir. Kelly, you're really growing up fast. Nothing drove that home more than seeing you at the mall last Saturday. Getting your ears pierced. An event which, if memory serves correctly, your mother said would coincide directly with her untimely death. Uh, Dad, you guys take all the time you need. I'll go call Duffy and tell him I can't make it. What the heck? He's not exactly headed for medical school. Sir, I find myself in need of your excellent counsel. Well, I'm sorry, Freddy, but, uh, you know, this is getting to be a habit. Giving you advice is not my job. I'm not your father. There seems to be a lot of that going around. <laughs> now, how can I help you? Well, sir, the junior prom is fast approaching. A chance to share a classic rite of passage. But alas, the girl of my dreams is beyond my fiscal reach. So it looks like this will become just another painful adolescent memory that'll haunt me for the rest of my life. <laughs> Would uh, 20 bucks help? Oh, please, sir, I can't take that. Oh, of course you can. No, I can't. It's not nearly enough. Well, how much do you need? Well, with the tux and the limousine and the Sunrise helicopter ride, it comes to a grand total of 500 bucks. But I've raised nearly $200 through the sale of my personal assets and the leasing of my python to a kid who hates his sister's cat. Good luck, Freddy. Yes, sir. Mr. Cleaver. Uncle Wally. Remember when I used to call you that? I'm not looking for a handout, just a hand, alone. And I'll pay you back every cent. And as collateral, I'm offering you this. You mean you'd hawk your guitar, the guitar you used to write fire in the gym? Hey, I'd give you my mother's wedding ring, if my father hadn't gotten to it first. <laughs> All right, look, uh, Freddie, my wife doesn't need to know about this. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uncle Wally, you've just made a big deposit into the Karma Bank. Hey, Kippy, how you doing? Nicole, nice outfit. This old thing? I wear it all the time. No, you haven't worn it since that girls' club car wash in September. Uh, I didn't think you'd notice. Hi, Greg. Um, you know Kip, don't you? All right, Haskell, make this quick. I know how you start rumors. First of all, Tess, I'd just like to say thanks for taking this meeting. For years, I've been enamored with your dazzling personality, spectacular good looks, and questionable reputation. It would make my heart soar like an eagle if you'd allow me to escort you to the prom. Drop dead. Okay, wait. I'll pay you a hundred bucks. Fifty up front, and fifty when I take you home. A hundred bucks? What kind of person do you take me for? Okay, two hundred. Pick me up at eight. Come to the back door. Freddy, I just saw Tess kiss you. What'd you do, pay her? <laughs> yeah. Isn't America great? <laughs> Kevin is so cute. This morning he asked me, how does the hair on your arms know when to stop growing, but the hair on your head doesn't? <laughs> what a character. Hey, how does the hair on your arms know when to stop growing? <laughs> Hi, Kip. Oh, hey, Nicole. How's it going? Terrible. I'm too depressed to even go to my nail appointment. 
What's wrong? Greg and I broke up. Oh, that, that, that's terrible. And now I don't have a date for the prom. Oh, come on, Nicole. I mean, there's a million guys that give up their fake IDs to go to the prom with you. Would you? Are you kidding? Fantastic! It'll be a night we will never forget. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Wait a minute, Kip. I thought you were going to the prom with Katie. Yeah, well, I asked her, but uh, she never got back to me about work, so... Hi, Kip. Listen, Katie. <laughs> my boss said that he would absolutely not give me the night off for the prom. Oh, too bad. So I quit. It'll be a night we will never forget. <laughs> Presenting the Olympic coverage, RACV Insurance, with Aussie Assist and Emergency Home Assist. It started as a dream, but now the time has come. We're with you, we'll cheer for you, together we stand as one. There is nothing greater, we'll face the world together. There is nothing greater. I want to go down to Texas Tux and... Are you okay? What's the matter? I'm in deep trouble. Kip, no matter what the problem is, your dad's been there. I can help. I've got two dates for the prom. Boy, you've really messed up this time. <laughs> I thought you were going to go with Katie. Well, I asked Katie. She didn't give me a definite yes. And then Nicole asked me and I... Well, I mean, Dad, this girl. Whoa. She's been out with college guys. So who do I take? Beats me. If you ask Katie first, I say she's the one you should take. Dad, you get a vote, too. Kip, I think you know what you got to do. Hello, Katie. This is Theodore Cleaver. Kip's father? I've been Kip's father for some time now. <laughs> well, uh... Grounded. Kip's being grounded from the prom. Why is he grounded? Well, uh... Well, you know the thing he did the last time he was grounded? Well, he did it again. <laughs> well, uh... <clears throat> 
I'm sure you'll find another job soon. This is Theodore Cleaver, Kip's father, saying goodbye. <laughs> wow! I'm on a roll. Anyone else's left you want me to shatter? <laughs> Door. Hold your horses, I'm coming. I'm a doctor, and I test medical equipment in my spare time. <laughs> well, that's great. Is Freddie here? I'm Dr. Haskell. Freddie who? Yes, what a surprise. This is the young lady I'm taking to the prom. Money well spent. <laughs> <laughs> I was just on the phone making sure our limo's gonna have a TV. Not that we're gonna be watching it much. <laughs> Look, Freddie, I don't have time to argue. I just wanted to show you what I was wearing to the prom. Wow. I knew you'd like it. Wow. Here's the bill. Whoa, $300? <laughs> yeah, and I'm picking out the shoes that go with it tomorrow. Tess, Tess, dear, sweet, confused, luscious child. There was nothing about a dress in the deal. Oh, I know. But if I wear a great dress, maybe people won't know that I'm with you. Look, can't you just buy the dress, wear it that night, and return it the next day, like my father makes my mother do? I thought this might meant something to you. But if I paid for the dress, we have to forego the limo, the chauffeur, and the mariachi band. No dress, no Tess. I've got to talk to you. Hey, I gotta talk to you too. Now, what do you like best? The regular tux or the top hat with tails? Now, I sort of like the top hat with tails, but I'm afraid I might look like Mr. Peanut. Kip, <laughs> I'm getting back with Greg. So, you mean the prom is our last date? No, you don't seem to understand. I'm going to the prom with Greg. <gasps> How can you do that? I mean, you don't know what I had to do to keep this date. Come on, be happy for me. I can't believe you're being so insensitive. What about me? I mean, the prom is tomorrow night. Oh my goodness. You're right, I have so many things to do. Hey, Katie, it's, it's great to see you. <clears throat> is that a new blouse? No. I got terrific news. We can go to the prom. My dad changed his mind. Oh, probably about the same time Nicole got back with Greg. Oh, you know. Look, Katie, I'm really sorry. I was a jerk. I'd really like to make it up to you. Why don't you let me take you to the prom, okay? Sorry, but I'm going with Mike McKenzie. The vice president of the polka club? The president. <laughs> Would you, um, like me to break my date with him? You do that? Absolutely not. I would never do to anyone what you did to me. You know, Kip, it's really a good thing we didn't go to the prom tonight. My hair doesn't look its best. Yeah. <laughs> The money I'm saving, I bet I could get a great stereo for the car I don't have yet. You know, when you think about it, the two of us really lucked out tonight. Yeah, we uh, sure did. Please, God, send me to my prom. <laughs> hey, Kip, I know how you feel. No offense, but you're the last person I thought I was going to be spending tonight with. Ditto. By the way, I get the window seat on the helicopter ride. Hey, Kip, can I borrow 10 bucks? What are you gonna do with all that moolah, Squirt? Buy a new basket for your bicycle? <laughs> Actually, Frederick, I have a date. And, uh, no money changed hands. <laughs> well, boys, don't wait up. <laughs> this night just keeps getting better and better. Just think, pretty soon everybody will be coming in the gym saying, boy, in a couple hours, we can get out of here and have some real fun. Hey, guys, how's it going? Evening, Mr. Cleaver. My, that's a handsome tux you're wearing. Hot, do you like it? 
You know, I got it on the family discount, even though Kip had to return his. Thanks for reminding me, Dad. Oh, come on, guys, don't be silly. Just go stag. I'll throw out a couple guys, and you can move in on their dates. Thanks, Dad, but I think we're better off staying here when no one can see us. This isn't the end of the world. You know, I didn't do so good at my junior prom, either. I took Violet Rutherford, and as soon as I got there, she dumped me for another guy just because he had a better car. Well, yeah, but at least you got there. Freddie, you can't let this one night scar your whole high school career. I mean, life goes on. Well, I gotta go. Hey, I got you some great movies, and your grandmother made you a whole pan full of brownies. Brownies? No, no, no! <laughs> So sad. I was treated so bad. I'm really so mad. Cause I'm gonna bomb a bra. Blue Jim's gonna blow. With their dancing slow. <laughs> bomb the bra. Sing it, brother. Say it to me, soul man. Won't need a chainsaw, won't use a gun Cause weapons like that, chain in the fun What am I gonna do? Bomb the prom That's right, brother, bomb the prom Ow! <laughs> Everyone who meets the date's gonna be with the horrible fate, brother Bomb the prom And maybe graduation, too Hey, at least we were able to turn our pain into inspiration. Yeah, I feel great. Yeah, me too. <laughs> right now, all the kids are distracting the chaperone so Mario can spike the punch. <laughs> yeah, but Tom's come and go. But a good buddy lasts forever. You said it, pal. <laughs> Nicole, what are you doing here? Oh, Greg and I got in a fight. He didn't get me a corsage, and then in the car, he was all over me, and his mom was driving. Oh. You want to use my phone? No, I want you to take me to the prom. The prom? Me? Really? <laughs> I can't. I can't leave my best buddy alone. Thanks, Kip. Oh, I understand. So how about you, Freddie? Want to go? You bet. <laughs> Freddie? Freddie, come on. The joke's over. Freddie? <laughs> Freddie! Contestants would just love to take on the major prize. Wouldn't we all, like? Eh? It's OK to be a winner, and so can you, by watching Wheel of Fortune 5.30 today. Song from Annie Lennox. Just one of the magnificent number one love songs ever recorded on this brand new release, The Miracle of Love. 28 specially selected love songs from the 70s and 80s. The classic from Dan Hill. Johnny Logan's big hit. And Brad's number one. 28 songs you'll treasure forever. The Miracle of Love from Concept. Maestro, uno minuto. Mamma mia. That's not happened to me no more. Now when I wanted the taste for pizza with no mess, no fuss, I eat the pizza fingers. Delicious little pizzas wrapped in the crepe pastry with all the natural ingredients and no MCG. Huh? No MSG. Another quality product from the Marathon family.
there's no room for competition. Well, I'm sorry. The kiosk goes ahead. Or is there? I've just come up with the perfect solution. They love Boy Wonder's idea. He should give me the chance to make it work. But not Boy Wonder himself. A stick the kiosk and the diner and you hand out cups of coffee. I've had a lot of this. Mars presents Home and Away tonight at 7. Next on 7, Agro's Cartoon Connection. Tonight, 7 Sport brings you the state of origin clash between Victoria and Western Australia. It promises to be a tough battle as the Vicks are out to make up for last year's defeat. State of origin, 9.30 tonight, exclusive to 7 Sport.